What is going on, everybody? The original Mako back, and the time has come. The Gunfire DLC is officially out, and there's going to be a lot of content coming real soon, and you're not going to want to miss it, so be sure you hit that subscribe button and turn on notifications so you don't miss any of the content coming out on this game. Also, if you really want to support the channel, help uh, check the member link down below. You can become a member today. You can see on screen we have a few already, and um, I am uh, super appreciative for all the extra support, and it helps out the channel way more than you know. So check that out down below. I'd really appreciate it if you want to help support a little bit extra. With that being said, let's not wait any longer. Let's just go ahead and dive into it. So we have a character showcase today. Um... We're going to have a couple of them, but the first one is going to be the Firefox for obvious reasons. Obvious reasons being, I uh, in the trailer, uh, some of the abilities just seemed absolutely insane. Uh, her name is Lee, and I have not read through her ascensions. I have upgraded these, but I haven't read them, and I haven't really read through her abilities. So I'm going to be talking about them, uh, giving my thoughts, and then we're going to have a little bit of gameplay. Probably not a ton, but a little bit. Uh, to just showcase the character a little bit. So, we have the Spiritual Flame, which has a cooldown of zero, or E ability, which casts a Shockwave, which deals 525 fire damage to enemies along the way. Every one energy consumed, up to 60, during the charge will boost the damage by 2%. The ability will evolve when consuming 30 energy, increasing the damage in AoE range by 100%. Initial maximum energy is 60 Restore 2% energy per second automatically, or 2 energy when killing enemies with fire damage. So, uh, it seems like you're going to have some sort of energy bar. You start with 60, you can restore uh, by killing enemies with fire, or just 2% automatically, and you can charge this up to deal increased damage. So it doesn't have a cooldown, but if you want to get the most out of it, then you're going to want to be charging it, it seems like. I don't know, I haven't used it. Uh, next, we have the Blazing Meteor, which... Uh, has an 8 capacity. You summon a Blazing Meteor, dealing 900 fire damage, and recover 2 energy for every enemy hit by the Blazing Meteor. Great, sounds cool. Let's take a look at our tree upgrades, shall we? Uh, practice made per makes perfect. When Spiritual Flame hits an enemy, when uh, energy consumed will be accumulated, for every 1,200 energy accumulated plus 30% charge speed of a Spiritual Flame, up to three stacks, you can charge it 90% faster once you max out these stacks. Um, seems pretty cool. I always like, you know, faster charge times on charge abilities, so that's cool. Um, flame Arsenal. Drop an extra fire damage weapon after defeating a boss or an elite. Okay, okay. So it's kind of like the, um, kind of like lay low with the snipers. Um, guaranteed fire damage. And uh, I said this a little bit ago, fire weapons do seem to be the uh, highest, uh, you know, higher end weapons for the most part. Next up, overheating, uh, plus 100 blazing meteor base damage, so it does 1,000 instead of 900 now, uh, plus 20 max shield, oh, oh yeah, something to talk about, yeah, she was, before I upgraded that, it was at 75, 95, but 75, or 75, 75, but 75, 95 is still pretty, pretty squishy, so, uh, anyway, plus 20 max shield upon taking damage, inflict burning effect to the enemy. So when you get hit, whoever hits you is getting burned, guaranteed. And plus 50% damage against enemies who are burning. So, obviously, you're very inclined to do fire damage with this character. Now, let's take a look at the ascensions, everybody's favorite part. So, we have Inferno Tree, Enhanced Weapon Damage, Ashes, which enhances Blazing Meteor, and Spiritual, which, en which enhances the Spiritual Flame. So, for Inferno... Um, the next shot will consume a certain amount of energy to increase lucky shot chance when energy is full or recover energy when it's not full. Okay, so if your energy is full and you shoot, your next shot has a higher lucky shot chance, and then if your energy is not full, you will recover energy. Interesting. Okay, okay. I kind of like it. Uh, Furious Flame just increases fire damage. Um, at tier 3, you get... Uh, bonus on enemies that have shield and armor. That's pretty useful, actually. Uh, cast a blazing meteor on an enemy hit by your weapon. Okay, that seems very fun. Um, very reminiscent of Lay Low so far. Uh, a lot of similarities I'm seeing. Um, 
So at level three, cast it twice if the current shot uh, inflicted burn, and there's a chance to cast the spiritual flame at the target. Holy hell, what? That seems kind of wacky. Uh, flame forged after casting spiritual flame for every one max energy, uh, plus 0.8% weapon damage and skill damage for six seconds. Recover one second duration for every enemy killed during this period. Recover duration? Duration for what? Oh, duration for this buff. Probably. So you extend the buff by one second for every enemy you kill. I think. I assume that's what that means. Uh, Molten Meteor. When Blazing Meteor hits an enemy, damage of the next weapon hits will be increased up to three stacks, and you lose one stack for each shot. So, um... 50, 100, and 150% damage. That doesn't seem too crazy. Uh, and then Flame Talisman. Every time you inflict Burning Effect, gain one stack of Mark, uh, up to five stacks. When you take damage from an enemy, you lose three stacks. Each stack reduces damage taken, increases weapon and skill damage at full stacks. Um, That's pretty good. Damage reduction is, is hard to come by. And getting increased damage on top of it when you're on max stacks is uh, pretty useful. Pretty useful, so Flame Talisman kind of pog, um, it seems like. Next up, we go to the Blazing Meteor Tree. Increase the base damage of it, and at Tier 3, uh, for every maximum energy, you have an increased damage bonus. That's probably a lot of damage that can add up. Uh, enemies hit by Blazing Meteor or Spiritual Flame take more fire damage and deal less damage. Okay, alright. Um, once again, damage reduction is pretty good. This is nowhere near as good as hex smoke um but still pretty pog uh blazing rain when using blazing meteor to hit an enemy affected by burn there's a 60 percent chance to cash an additional blazing meteor to the enemy within seven meters uh this chance will decrease significantly when it's triggered repeatedly so yeah you're 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 probably only going to proc that once maybe twice if you're lucky um but still seems pretty fun and right, next up we have nourishing fire Restore energy when hitting an enemy with Blazing Meteor. If your energy is full, you increase your weapon damage and skill damage instead. Um, the excess energy increased damage doesn't seem too crazy. Because if your energy is full and, you go to, and you're at tier 3, you're restoring 10 energy. Which would give you 10 excess energy. So that's like plus 12% weapon and skill damage. Which isn't like... The craziest thing in the world, but I guess it's still a buff. Um, and then Accurate Crush uh, increases damage when Blazing Meteor hits only one enemy. Um, and at level, at tier 3, there's a chance to do 400% damage if you only hit one enemy. So, uh, a good boss killer. And then Unceasing Blaze. Increase the capacity and restore uses when it inflicts burn. Um... At level 3, it's plus 12 capacity. Holy smokes, you can just rain meteors from the sky. And then, of course, we have the Spiritual Tree, Enhanced Spiritual Flame, which looks like one of the coolest abilities in the game. Um, so, Conflagration. Conf conflagration? I don't know. Increased Spiritual Flame, base damage, energy consumed, further increases damage of the current attack. So, just a massive buff to your damage. Um... And then at level 3, it also increases damage if you're farther away, which is fun. Uh, energetic Spirit increases max energy and recovery speed, plus, um, wow, the max energy is kind of nuts. Um, and level 3 for that seems kind of bonkers, I'm not going to lie. Uh, that seems very good, Energetic Spirit. Uh, next, we have the Firefox Blessing. After Spiritual Flame evolves, it deals additional fire damage to hit enemies. Um... When it's consumed, it can evolve a second time. Oh my god. It's kind of nuts if it can evolve twice at level 3. Um, dealing increased damage and leaving a burning path. That's pretty cool. Uh, endless wildfires. Recover energy for killing or for every enemy killed by spiritual flame. And it has a chance to recover energy consumed. Um... Does that just mean, does the chance to recover energy consumed mean when you use it, you have a chance to just get that back immediately, I'm guessing? I think that's what that means. 
Uh, but still, seems like being able to recover energy is something that's going to be super useful. I don't know yet. Uh, fiery Heart. A spiritual Flame will always inflict burning effect to the enemy after casting it. Fire damage weapons are guaranteed to inflict burn on the next hit. That's not too bad. Guaranteeing burn is obviously pretty important for a character that is super reliant on burn damage. Um, doesn't seem super crazy, though. And then Heat Recovery. When recovering or consuming energy, you gain temporary max shield for a certain amount of time. Um, that seems pretty good, actually, as a defensive mechanism. Once again, this character is very squishy, so um, Heat Recovery seems pretty good. All right, yeah, this character is absolutely reminding me a lot of Lelo. Um, squishy seems like the high damage potentials there. Um, a couple of ways to to help relieve the squishiness, uh, but I'm very excited to get in and try this character out. Um, so I'm gonna do a quick cut, and I will be back at the first boss fight. Uh, oh, not at the first boss fight, at the first area, and we'll go through the first boss fight for the uh, for the showcase. So. Um, I will see you guys in just a second. All right, and we are back, and we already get a good look at two of the unique spiritual remnants here, um, Cataclysm and Flame Dance. Uh, Flame Dance is plus 30% weapon damage and plus 5% enemy damage taken when inflicting the burning effect up to 10 stacks on an enemy, and Cataclysm is plus 1% damage of Blazing Meteor for every one energy stored. When casting Blazing Meteor at a target, cast it on all enemies within 8 meters. Uh, every remaining Blazing Meteor will reduce the cooldown by 0.1 seconds. Um, Cataclysm seems extremely fun. So we're going to go with Cataclysm. And we're going to hope that there's a Fire Flame weapon here. There are two. Um, I'm going to take the Fire Scale. And we're going to let it ride. I haven't used this character. This is my first time playing anything in this DLC. Um, here we go, I guess. Here we go. All right. Um, I got to start with a Cataclysm. Okay. 2k damage isn't too bad. Um, and once again, it's guaranteed to cast on all enemies within a specific area. I need to get more than one enemy at a time here. Um, also, <laughs> this seems very loud. Yeah, that was probably really loud. Whoops. Okay. This will be a good chance to test out the... Ah, <laughs> yes. Okay. So, Cataclysm is fun. Also, it looks really cool. I think they did a good job with that design in terms of how it looks. Um, all right, we love to see that. Lightless Shield, we also love to see that. Um, so, I guess let's charge our E up and use, use that. Oh, my God, that traveled so fast I didn't even get to see it. I mean, it decimated everything in front, but good lord. I had no chance to even see what was happening. That charge is pretty quick, I'm not gonna lie. Um, spiritual Meteor, oh god. Um, ah, shit, I think we just take that if we're... I think Cataclysm is kind of insane. Yeah, it didn't, um, it didn't really seem like it took long to charge, like... At all. Uh, oh, it's a chest room. We'll still do it, but... Also, the fox is kind of slow. Uh, not gonna lie, which is weird, because you'd think, you know, lore-wise, a fox would be pretty quick, but um, not quite. Uh, <laughs> yeah, uh, Flame Shard's not <laughs> bad, not bad at all, and Realm of Corrosion for some explosions, I, you can't, you can't ask for much better than that, yeah, the, the, the Meteor is really, really popping off, it's just, um, it does a lot of damage, it can cover a large area, I mean, look at that, 
I feel like if there's a way to buff the range on that, like a little more than eight meters, oh my god, it'd be so insane. But it's already kind of nuts, I'm not gonna lie. All right, what do we have here? Oh, I mean, shit. Ah, oh, that's pretty good though, but I, I have to just keep going with the meteor. And obviously this is gonna scale with skill damage. So, I mean, this meteor might be my favorite. Oh, that wasn't within eight meters, are you serious? Might be my favorite Q in the game. Oh my god. Okay. So. What? That did like no damage to this guy. The hell? Um. So. When you charge your spiritual fox. Um. You. Hold on. I'm going to try to get some energy back. Um. I thought it might work like when you release the E button it automatically fires, but that's not the case. So you have to manually fire it yourself with left click as soon as you're ready. It won't automatically do it, which is interesting. Um, I am curious. Okay, so that doesn't do a lot of damage. I really thought that this E was going to... I mean, it's fully charged. I thought it was going to do a little bit more. Um, but yeah, I guess maybe just because I've built fully into the Cataclysm so far. But it's definitely not... It's definitely... The Q right now is much, much better than the uh, E ability. Which is really weird because... I really thought, uh, when I was looking at the, the, the DLC trailer, the, the, the Firefox ability looked insane. It was also super late into the game, so, you know, once again, obviously it was probably built. You know, the run was built like that. But yeah, it does, definitely doesn't do a lot of damage. It does travel very fast, pierces, and does okay damage, but yeah, the, 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 the uh, Cataclysm is what's popping off right now. Um, I'm going to look for a new weapon. Actually, I'm not going to look for a new weapon. That's a lie. What is... Oh, that's right, obviously. Because um, I'm going to have complete separate videos focused on the new weapons. So... Whoops. That was my bad. Okay. Nice. Um... Oh, well, not probably ever going to be using a non-explosive weapon. Come on down, everybody. I mean, it it definitely cleaves through things in a straight line, but it, it can only really go in a very narrow line. It doesn't have a large AoE, for sure. So, I don't know how I feel about that one yet. It, oh, oh, I feel like it's going to become much less useful, like, the farther you go, because pathways become much more open and much less narrow, um, oh my god, double, double, I mean, we'll obviously go all in at, on the spirit fox at some point, but I mean, right now, we're just... We're just gonna fuck him up with our meteor, baby. Let's go. What? 30% damage to enemies within 12 meters. Oh, so I have to be super close. Ah, uh, that'll do it. That'll do it. Dun dun dun. Uh huh. I wonder if there's a full patch notes I can go through. I don't know. Um, there probably is somewhere. I probably have to do that at some point. Yeah, that just really 
really does not get the job done. Oh my god, I'm out of blazing meteors. That is suboptimal, chief. I will say though, firefish is like one of the best best weapon options we could have gotten here. Firefish absolutely bangs. Um, okay. Let's get rid of it. And whoops. And get rid of it. Grab this first and then we'll go to the boss room. Uh for capacity to it, 200% damage, I could use that on the boss, although that doesn't synergize super well with what we're doing right now. Um, yeah, I think Unceasing Blaze is probably the best option, just for the chance to try to spam these as much as possible. Okay, 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 stop playing Ring Around the Rosie. What the heck? Oh my god, I'm stuck in a corner. Thank god for the... Um... Uh, Realm of Corrosion slowing him down for me. Much appreciated. Uh, okay, okay. Well, let's go ahead and try this bad boy out on the first boss, shall we? My strength's pretty good. So there's triple dash. I'm gonna take the triple dash. All right, let's conclude our showcase with a banger boss fight. Um, it is the the well, actually, the meteor is probably gonna do. Fairly well, I would think, against um, against those 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 uh, giant meteor <laughs> boulder things that he summons in the air. So, how far does it travel? Does it get all the way there? Yeah, it does. Yeah. So the right now, it only. Um, the meteors are only ooh, the meteors are only doing 6k, um, but that's still a decent chunk when you can summon two of them potentially at a time. I mean, it's you can see the the little tick of the health bar. It's getting cleaved a little bit. I had to do the finisher with the meteor. Uh, all right. Okay, all right, okay. Well, there we go. Um. Another unceasing blaze. Once again, um, yeah, I really think that the the uh, cataclysm ability, <laughs> the spiritual remnant, was kind of insane, and building into that with all these meteor buffs uh, makes it pretty pretty good, I'd say. Uh, the E ability, not quite sure yet. I'm uh, gonna have to do some more working with it. It looks super cool. It just seems a little bit weak, maybe, but. That's just first impressions. These are all first impressions. I just wanted to do a quick little showcase for you guys. Um, if you want to see me do some more in-depth stuff with it before the, you know, best builds for this character video comes out or best tips for this character, uh, then you can check out the stream. I will be streaming later today um, at the time this goes up. So uh, come check it out. I'd really appreciate it. But that being said, that's it for Lee. Let me know your thoughts. Maybe you've played more with her. Maybe you... you um, you know, know her abilities a little bit better. So let me know your thoughts down in the comments. As always, there's going to be lots of content coming your way. So check it all out. I really appreciate it. Hopefully you all have a wonderful rest of your day. I love each and every one of your faces and I'll catch you all in the next video.